All right, round two. We got a full case of Topps Chrome Hobby. This is number five. It's a team's break. There they are. We're doing the full case so I can open it from the bottom, like usual. And the boxes are right side out when you drop them out of the case. Just like that. Oh, full case. That's a thing of beauty. Evil Zed, Kerstad rookie, Caminero base. JT Real Muto, Authentics, right off the bat. Cool breeze. Green Wave, Abner Uribe to 99. Adley Allatch. Jared Jones, he was the one that was allegedly, it, it is alleged that the Orioles offered Jackson Holiday for Jared Jones, and the Pirates said no. I don't know if I believe that, but. Jeez, Dodgers still not out of the inning. Gunner. That's what a Pittsburgh beat writer said. And like or not even a beat writer, I guess, but someone who they is considered a legitimate source. Jason. Yeah, I mean that's I can't believe that. <laughs> But that kind of came out either at the same time or in the wake of like, well, I think you were the one who posted it, Red Raider, that like Trevor Plouffe said that they should think about trading him for Scoobal or whatever. That wasn't like a rumor that something had actually happened, but that's just a guy saying whatever. Whatever. 
Vlad Olich. Well, you didn't post the Jared Jones thing. That was those were two separate. There's a Cheerio base rookie. But they both came out uh The one you posted was just some guy on a podcast, Trevor Plouffe, former former MLB player Trevor Plouffe, saying that they could or should consider trading him. But then there was the thing from the Pittsburgh reporter who claims it was actually offered. Harrison to 299. Yeah, I don't think any of it's I don't think they're trading him. First of all, for like almost anybody. Scooble, I guess, would be closer to me than Jared Jones, but. But I don't think it's happening. Langford. Aqua. Aquila Williams to 199. Alika Williams, sorry. I always get that backwards. Yeah, I mean, they have so much other good uh, offensive talent anyway. I don't think it would be the craziest thing, but. Yeah, Dansby got traded not that, like, pretty early on, right? Shelby Miller, I think. Willens. He might be. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Eduardo Rodriguez, negative. Seeger all etch. Another Cheerio base. JMBBB. Let's see a Cheerio auto, huh? That'd be fun. Cursed dead. Holiday. All etch rookie rush Curtis Mead. JP. <clears throat> oh, Shelby Miller's the bullpen guy in the Tigers. Wow. Who knew?
Kevin Arrow base. Cool, Otani Refractor. Oh, Fred Freeman just jacked one out of there. Isan Sala, likely uh, MVP buyback card. What is it, 20 for base, 40 for... Oh, really? 40 water? Wow. Imanaga. Osvaldo Bido. Doink and dink. So, yeah, 20 for base, 40 for refractor and prism and like pink and stuff. And then it's 80 for anything numbered over 100. And 160 for anything numbered under 100? Is that right? Andy Rodriguez to 350. Some of those cards, like we said, are maybe worth more. That's crazy, 40 Water Horse. I kind of remember that, that he got 27 in a row. Now that you mention it. Got to be the only time in the history of the league that's happened. There's the famous Babe Ruth story. Where was it? It was him, right? He walked the first batter and got Babe Ruth got ejected from the game. And then the guy who came in after him got 27 outs in a row. Sure, thanks, JP. Soto base. Holiday base chrome. Joby has the Orioles in this one. I'd like to see a great rookie autograph. We've gotten some really good stuff, but I don't think I've gotten a big name. There's a Jason base. Jason, Holiday, Merrill, Ellie, Churio, level, rookie auto. Wow. That's weird, JP. Otani, 89. Wyatt Langford, base. Wow, that's cool. Corbin Carroll negative with the negative rookie cup there. Really great. be a slugfest here.
Two to two in the first. Kevin Arrow Base. Or again, I'd like to see uh, an insert auto, dual auto, on the spot autograph. Jason Strokes. Relic auto would be cool. Authentics auto. Matt McLean. Otani base. Yeah, I was going to say, Lux hit a home run yesterday, right? And he just hit that double there. I think that was yesterday. Slade Ciccone. Ciccone. Really great. Corbin Carroll, Prism. Another Cheerio base. One in every box so far, JMBVB. Let's see a parallel then. Blue. Wow, one of 150 for Bookend Birch. Doink and Dink, your A's, Zach. Gel off, gel off. True Blue, rookie to 150. Quick base dump already. Oh, thanks, JBBB. Appreciate it. I don't have any yet. This is one I would get in breaks of. I just haven't at the moment. And again, I I try not to get in breaks of anything that's that you guys really want here. I'll buy a spot here and there if it's if something's been posted all day and Sam's on and breaking. Langford base. Pete Alonzo Refractor. Nimmo Refractor. Cool picture up against the wall. Evan Carter. Judge, base, probable 
MVP buyback card, big cheese. Oh yeah, um, Wisconsin or Illinois? I'm a long way from Illinois. Bradish, like right near me in town here? No, but uh, definitely Green Bay does, and there's definitely the middle, like Wausau, Eau Claire, where I used to live, Soderstrom. They do for sure. <laughs> I could just get Steakums. I'm sure I could find that. But uh, I'm I'm I might be able to. I wonder if the grocery store has a guy who would slice it up. I think they kind of got rid of their deli counter though. <clears throat> I saw Albies. I didn't know Freed too. Jeez. Freed's been hurt, huh? Feels like every year. Yeah, I know. There used to be a good meat counter here. There actually is, too. I was razzing you yesterday, Red Raider. But there is a, like, meat marketplace. Neuritis. Uh, that's close to me that does have, like... I bet they sell... Either they sell thin-shaved uh, ribeye or would make it... For, would special cut it for me. But I don't go, I haven't been there. I've only been there one time. Ellie, base. Arenado Refractor. Oh no, what'd you do? Too high? <laughs> were you too high when you were cooking them? Was the temperature too high? Connor Kaiser, Jason Dominguez prism. Yeah. No shortcuts in the rib game, huh? Blue. Huh, Lawrence Butler, true blue rookie. Doink and dink, you're getting true blue A's rookies. Cowser. Mookie, all etch. Yeah, the blue refractors do look great. Camonero. Yeah. This color blue is really good, too. I know that might sound stupid, but, like, it's not always exactly the same. That's a great 
blue refractor. Judge Refractor Big Cheese Again, likely MVP buyback candidate. Whoa, cool. Trey Turner to 10, Black Border. Cool breeze. I always love Trey Turner. Six of 10, Black Border. Amazing card. Is that one you got from Sam's break, Red Raider? I know you had some success. Or is that from somewhere else? That is a Colton Kowser image variation. I would stake my reputation on it. Joby. Yeah, 750, last three. I believe that's the, like, first, uh, like, SP, not SSP. That's the first one of those we've gotten in... Two cases, two and a half cases of hobby and half a case of jumbo the last two days. I think, unless I missed one, but I don't think so. McNeil. Trout, all etch. Are there all etch autographs? That would be cool to get. I think there are. I think I saw them on the checklist. Holiday. Base rookie. Ellie Strokes rookie. Arise. Oh, yeah, the Rookie Rush. Those have a lot going on. JP Martinez for the Rangers. ADOS. <clears throat> Lawler Prism rookie. Really great. Lion Richardson, negative rookie. Gomez.
Oh, that's Julio Pablo Martinez. <laughs> Didn't even make that connection. That makes sense now. Imanaga. Tim. Refractor. Trout, 89. Mason Wynn, rookie. Purple, Matt Olson to 250. Oh, he wasn't, he wasn't technically on the all-rookie team. Is that something that they like officially name the all rookie team? Or is that just like they just put that on the cards of some guys? Oh, it's on its top scar, but not Chrome. That stinks. Blue Sonic. Josh Hader. Hader in the house. AF Chef. To 125, by the way. Carter. Football Joe, hello. Wilson Contreras. <laughs> James Altman. Holiday. There certainly are some. Corbin Carroll. <clears throat> for, for a fact, I know. Yeah, see, there's Carroll's. Otani all etch. Ooh, Jordan Lawler. That's a good one. Really gray. Who is a Jordan Lawler believer, I think. That's good. Now let's get one one step up from that even. Garrett Cole. Pete Crow Armstrong. Prism. All right, that's halfway. Another quick base dump.
I did put the Donner's teams on sale, by the way. Uh, we haven't had anything show-stopping in the first half, to be honest with you. Oh, the trade we had a Trey Turner black to 10 that was really cool. Nice Harrison auto and Lawler, the Lawler you just saw. But nothing crazy, crazy yet. Oh, yeah, we need oranges, too. That's a good point. Like an orange uh, Riley Green. Is he? Does he have the rookie cup on his cards, Red Raider? Riley Green? He should. He was just a rookie last year, right? Jason, Imanaga. <laughs> he didn't make it. He was really good. Gold Wave, Jordan Adams rookie to 50. It's got the like break in the pattern around his thighs there. Original Ken. Wyatt Langford. Oh, yeah. Pete Crow. Raffaella rookie. Abrams refractor. Purple, speckle, cool, Imanaga. Tim <clears throat> to two ninety nine. Merrill base. Ooh. Carter. Ronnie Mauricio Prism rookie. Jupiter Sailfish, what's up? Evan Carter, 89. Lawler Base. 
<laughs> Noel V. Marte, rookie auto. Isan Sala. We haven't had our case hit insert yet either. Bobby Witt Jr. All Etch. Ellie, summertime in the park. Five boxes to go. Lots of cards yet. Refractor. Yeah, the design's on un unbeatable, Jupes. I love it. You know what? I, I I'm. <laughs> I say this. Uh, not just as a salesman who will have some soon, but. I think the blaster parallels are going to look really good this year. Like the pink refractors and sepias, especially the pinks. Musgrove. Green. Will Smith to 99. Isan Sala. That's on its way. I'll have some of that probably next week. I'm debating. Maybe mix, uh, you know, like one jumbo box and a handful of blasters. Could be one jumbo, one hobby, and a handful of blasters. Jackson Holiday Base, Lee Base. Purple, Anthony Rundone, Judge All Etch. Another Churio base. Hey, Oscar. Gone. What? Extra card in here. <laughs> Weird. That's a... Backwards and upside down Justin Martinez in the middle of the pack. Just a base. Extra card. Yeah, they're 40. 
They were last year too, I'm almost sure. I think people just weren't buying them as much. Maybe not 40, maybe it was 35. That's what Bowman was this year, 35. Turner Olich. Caminero. Well, they were $20 forever. They cost $20 for me to buy, like, 1999 Top Series 1. The fact that they stayed $20 until 2020 is pretty wild. Then inflation caught them like everything else. Otani, base. It's like video games. Like an SNES game costs 60 bucks. It's the same as what PS5 games cost. They never changed it. Wow, there we go. Imanaga to $4.99. Tim. Cool. There's a good one. We've gotten a couple of good ones now. That's a refractor to four ninety nine. I think I said fifty five dollars Canadian. Yeah, I know that's another like a video game thing too that. Video games cost like 80 or 90 bucks in Canada, or always did, even when they were 60 here. So now that they're, are, is it $100 for, like what did, uh, I don't know if you're a college football person, but what does like a new AAA video game cost, a rider if you're a video gamer? Is it 100 bucks? 90 now, yeah. Yeah, like the college football cost me 75. They're raising them a little bit. Yamamoto. That's the first base Yamamoto, I'm almost sure. Yeah, 89 Judge all etch. <laughs> Another Churio. Lawler rookie Harper refractor. Dominguez. All that tricky rush, Luciano. For the Giants. Cranky Yankee. I really like it, but I don't know. I don't know how much I'm going to be playing it, you know. I do think it's really good. There's not a reason not to, but. Ronnie Mauricio to 350, rookie. JMBBB. Link. 
Langford. Mason Wynn. Ellie. Ellie Base. Sunga Refractor with the Rookie Cup. Blue Auto. Sedan Rafaela. That's a gorgeous card. 40 Water Horse. Awesome one. Oh, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there should be Sedan Raphael again, like I said. Usually for like the postal stuff, we change the declaration. It's kind of tough because, like, if it if something does happen to it, we don't want to say it's not worth anything. But also, like, I guess he probably just didn't, like, the shipper probably didn't uh, think of, like, changing the declaration amount. But it is a tricky thing because if something's worth a thousand dollars and then we say it's worth five and then it gets lost, there's no recourse at all, I don't think. I'm not saying that card is worth a thousand dollars or worth a hundred and twenty seven dollars in duties. Mount Castle to one ninety nine. Oh, that was, was that what you like had the estimated value at when you submitted the card? Cause for like, uh, for domestic packages, we can use that to gel off. We can use that for like insurance purposes, you know, but we don't have like a different system for Canadian customers and American customers. I think. Well, but you did, you submitted the card for grading. Like when you did the. Like when you, when you filled out the report to have it graded or whatever, there's a declared value on that. I don't know if it, I don't know. He wouldn't have changed the declaration to $300. It would have come from some somewhere. But yeah, I mean that sucks. How yeah, how even if it was like something that's worth three hundred dollars, well how are the duties a hundred and twenty seven dollars? Forty percent duties or whatever? RJ Munster, thanks for the sub. Yeah, that really sucks. I would say also, like, I don't know. This goes for, I guess, any Canadian listening. If you do have, like, SGC shipping or something, maybe reach out to Sam. Uh, 
reach out to Sam before you have it returned. And just, yeah. We can do it however you want it done, but obviously we had no idea either <laughs> that that was going to be... If we, if we had known... Ooh, that's a radiating rookie. Hang on. One second. Radiating rookie... Jackson Merrill. Freaking Tim, what a beautiful card. That's the first one of those I've seen. Awesome card. Jackson Merrill, an all-star too. Great player. But yeah, basically just to finish my thought, if we had any idea that it was going to cost you $125, we wouldn't we would not do it that way on purpose. Cuz it doesn't like, you know, when we do a shipping thing, it doesn't say like, "Oh, FedEx, by the way, at the tail end of this, FedEx is going to charge you charge your customer $125." We have no idea either. And again, I don't think anybody really knows how they calculate those things. They just just slam a uh, a bill on it. But yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, that sucks. I would reach out uh, before, because we we might be able to ship it with FedEx and not. There is an option that we did one time. I had to look into it for shipping an expensive card to a customer. Where, like, we pay the du the duties. Um, Horowitz. And, like, we paid the duties and stuff, and it was, like, an extra $10 or something. So. But, yeah. All, usually, too, with the USPS, we just... Uh, White Langford Prism. There's no problem, either. Sorry, one second. Okay, sorry. Let's quit looking at an eBay auction quick. Well, yeah, also, like, I don't know if you guys know this, but the amount of money it costs to send, like, even those little white boxes, A-Rider, is asinine. I think the cheapest we can send anything out is $21. It is unbelievable, the international shipping charges. Holiday soda refractor. And again, I don't think that's for any real reason other than, you know, uh, one or both of the postal services It's just too much. Gold Wave autograph. Beto to 50. Doink and dink.
Is does the radiating rookie count as like Helix? Let's go. Uh, ultraviolet fanatical is that like on that list so if we got a rating radiating rookie we're not going to get one of those another cheerio base Yeah, it's one thing if there's like big commerce, like bi legitimate big commerce, you know what I mean? Not us shipping you a break package. If they want to tax and duty and everything, big international companies, whatever, I guess. But especially the little man, pretty rough. <laughs> yeah. Well, you say that, but, you know, all of my Canadian friends, they talk about Coffee Crisp and Aero Bars. and I mean, we get plenty of amazing fat kid stuff, but I'm jealous of your chocolate selection up there. Too long the Hershey Empire has uh, been holding back the, the chocolate consumption of this great nation. We need Cadbury in there. Ellie. Yeah, I think all the, that's right, all the mail went up too. Stamps went up a little bit. Uh, you know, regular stamps and then all of the, everything across the board went up. Yeah, 5 to 10%, I think. Green sonar Owen White to ninety nine. Eight dollars. Julio Refractor. Merrill Base. Jackson Holiday, summertime in the park. Joby. Cows are rookie. Oh, there's <laughs> that's funny. I noticed this on a different card. Some of the logos on the back, they have like this like ripped JPEG border on them. They're all pixely and weird. That's a Harris Prism. But you see, like, the other cards in the pack are regular. And then that one's all janky. I've seen that on a couple of cards. But, like, most of them don't have... I've only noticed when uh, 
the pack is, you know, the cards are backwards in the pack. You can see that lo little logo there. Lee Rookie. Maybe, no, that wouldn't even have been on Topps Chrome. That was, that happened on Series 2. I wonder if it's like every, that was Michael Harris. Try to remember the next, like, base Michael Harris I see. If it's every Michael Harris card. Devin Williams to two ninety nine. JMBBB. Sean Newell to four ninety nine. Original Ken. Refractor Rookie Auto. All right, last box at a break. I hope that radiating rookie doesn't count. I love that card, but hopefully we get another case hit type deal yeah like I said it, it had to have been series 2 that I noticed it on before Camonero Strokes. Mookie Refractor. Refractor. Hey, an orange, a true orange. That's an Aaron Judge base too. Orange. Pete Alonzo to twenty-five color match. Cool. J and B B B. That's a pretty card. Pretty card. Cool. A Mets orange. Peter. Trout Prism. Soto All Etch. Ellie. Cano. There's the Rookie Cup. Cano. So there's two Yaners on the Rookie Cup team, huh? Lee Refractor. Cranky Yankee.
Austin Riley refractor. Jack Leiter refractor. Blue Wave. Colt Keith rookie to 75. Hippie. It's a cool one. Bobby Witt Jr. Prism. Two packs. Merrill. And the last pack of the break. A Parker Meadows to two ninety nine. Look at that hippie. <laughs> numbered rookie in a numbered rookie autograph the last couple of packs here. All right, hit recap in one second here. Let me get things straight. Well, we'll start with this. An absolute beauty of a card. I love the way these look. Jackson Merrill, radiating rookie. The back is cool, too. Autographs. We had a gold wave to 50. Beto. Sedan Raphael to 150. Parker Meadows and Kyle Harrison to 299. Imanaga to 499. Sean Ewell to 499. And then base of Marte Lawler. Uh, Martinez, Kaiser, Sacconi, and Beto. We did have a relic. Real Muto. Numbered stuff. See if I can get this in order quick too. Okay, we have this awesome black border Trey Turner to 10. Is Colt Keith the better one? Well, at least he got a numbered Colt Keith. Alonzo to 25, orange. Adams to 50, Colt Keith 71 to 75. Smith to 99, white, Uribe to 99. Hader to 125, Lawrence Butler and Geloff to 150. Mountcastle and Williams to 199, Rendon and Olsen to 250, Williams and Imanaga to 299, Horowitz, Mauricio and Rodriguez to 350.